What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we have a two-in-one figure review, and it is on the former tag team partners, Big Cass and Enzo Amore Elite Series 55 in the house from walkoutwear.com, which you can pick these up today, and they will be shipping. They are in stock and you can get them right now if you go to walkoutwear.com. Use the promo code MDT. You will get 16% off, and they do free U.S. shipping as well as low international shipping as well. Um, other competitors like to rob you with their shipping options. Not at Walkout Wear. You can get these figures as literally as low as like 25 or less ship to your door. So that is absolutely amazing. But taking a first glance at these figures, I am in love with this Enzo Amore. It's basically the Toys R Us Network Spotlight Basic turned into an elite. And we do get a beautiful certified G jersey. Wish it was cloth, but you know, whatever. It is still a cool accessory. And then, of course, Big Cass over here. They both have their microphones, both have their chains, and they both do come with some shirts. So I do want to crack these figures open and take a closer look. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Actually, first we're going to do a quick run-through of the packaging. So we did get some brand new packaging. We did see this in Elite 54, but I only have one figure to show that up. But you do have the front window here, WWE logo here, name of the figures at the top. Um, new Elite logo here, which is beautiful. You got the series number, some stripes over here. On the side here, you have Enzo Amore on the right side of the box. And on the left side of the box, you have a picture of Big Cass. And on the other side, it is Enzo. And then on the other side, you have Big Cass here. And then on the box, this is really awesome. I think they really did do a good job on these. You have some... Uh, a very cool little bio right here. They have some career highlights on there. They both have the same ones. It has some more stuff about the uh, wrestler here, their name, and then a beautiful picture, which I think looks absolutely sick. And then, of course, the rest of the wave. But now we can crack these figures open. All right, guys, here we have Enzo and Cass out of their packaging. And at first glance, I can already tell you, I think both of these figures are better than their first time around, which we will take a look at to make sure but I am happy with the accessories they came with. They both have respective mics that they had, um, you know, when they came out. I am sad that they are no longer a tag team. You know, that is pretty sad. I feel like uh, they were better together. Uh, Enzo Amore, of course, has found success outside of it. You know, he's Cruiserweight Champion now. But um, he has these three chains. We get a jersey. And he comes with two shirts and a chain as well. So I think that both of these figures come with plenty of accessories. You know, I think they did a really good job. Of course, these shirts could be cloth but um it is what it is you know we got to accept it sometimes but let's take a closer look at Cass, and then we'll take a closer look at enzo all right guys starting out at the top of the head we have a new big cast head scan right here and he does have the wide eyes there which i do think this head scan captures big cast i feel like they got the shape of his head very correct i think that the hair looks nice as well spinning it around it is that long uh big cast hair there but um his eyes may be a bit too wide, but I think it does resemble Big Cass a lot. So that is something. We do get his necklace right here, which I am not going to take the time to take off and include with accessories because that is just a pain. So I'll just leave it on there. But um, going down into the torso, a lot of people do hate this torso choice, which I don't think it's absolutely awful. But Big Cass is definitely not this ripped. I think that uh, G Natty had it right when he put the, uh, tor uh, the Hulk Hogan torso. I think works a lot better there. But I do, um, I think it works okay. It's not too terrible. Um, on the arms, it is the same exact arm mold that we got last time, except the tape is actually flipped. On the last Elite, the tape was on this side, and on this one, obviously, it's flipped. Um, same hands, open hand over here, closed fist over here, but it is red tape instead of black. And going down into the trunks here, they continued that stupid thing they did with this first Elite where they uh, did half of the trunks on the upper thigh there. Instead of completely filling it in or not doing any at all, they did the midway point, which is sort of weird. You got your big cast logo here with uh, him punching or whatever that is, doing that soft spelling out thing. On the back, it does say Queens, and it does have the bridge there, which is very nice. I like this decal a lot. I think this is better than his first Elite attire. I think the red works a lot better. And then he does have his tree trunk legs, big tall boots, big long knee pads, and that is big cast. So now we can look at his accessories, but I am ho overall happy with the red attire they went with. All right, guys, looking at big cast's accessories, we get two rubber shirts right here, which sucks because they are rubber. 
However, I think that they're okay if you wanted to, uh, I think you could cut it up and make it work nice. It's stupid because they probably should have done, like, Big Cass, like, they didn't do the mold right. You know, they should have done that mold they did with the Ryback shirts for Big Cass because he wore the same style. But anyways, getting into this different shirts, I like this one better, the Certified G. This was a, uh, number one seller, I believe. On the back here, you see it says Enzo and Cass up here, and you can't teach that right there, which is part of the soft... Thing. And then on this one, you have the Bada Boom on the front, G logo right there, and then Realist guys in the room, obviously, with Enzo and Cass logo down here. But those are the two shirts. And then getting into his signature microphone that he wears to the ring. Um, I really like that they included this. You have the cheetah print right there on the hand, uh, the handle, which is very nice. And it's cool that they introduced a whole new mold. You could probably hang this from the rafters and do like a Mr. Kennedy thing maybe. But anyways, that is it for Big Cass's accessories. So now we can take a closer look at Enzo himself. All right, guys, taking a closer look at Enzo Amore at the top of the head. I believe this may be a newer head scan. I do not know if this is the same one as the Network Spotlight Basic Enzo Amore that we got at Toys R Us. If it is, please let me know down in the comment section below. But Getting into the torso right here, you have very accurate chest hair with his Jesus tattoo right here. Stomach hair as well with the life tattoo there. Going around on the arms, I believe these are the same arms except with white wrist tape um, from the first Enzo Elite. And I think they do a fantastic job when they do Enzo. I think that they include a lot of detail. All his tattoos, all of his attires are so nice. Um, but getting into my favorite part of the figure, and this is probably my favorite Enzo Amore attire to this day. And this is the white jogger pants with the cheetah print and the blue 100 logos. This is so sick. Um, I was hoping they'd make this into an elite, and they absolutely did. And I think they did a great job. <coughs> Excuse me. But I absolutely love the color white. And I think that they captured this beautifully. The socks to match the uh, blue 100s and the gray sneakers there. I believe these may be, uh, they're supposed to resemble um, Jordan 12 lows. I could be wrong, but um, this is such a sick figure. I think the details they did on here are incredible. But now that we've seen the figure, let's take a closer look at his accessories. But Jesus, man, he looks so fresh in this white attire. All right, guys, getting into his accessories, we'll start off first with his jersey shirt right here. It is black and white and I think a silver color. Um, yeah, maybe, no, just just black and white. But anyways, you got Certified G across the front, or Certified G's, I might say. There's a tiny S right there, and I do like this jersey. I wish that it was cloth, but yeah, again with the cloth statement. I swear to God, I have to say that so many times because they keep giving us rubber. But on the back, you have dimes with the zero right there. So very nice jersey um, right there. And then, of course, he does come with his signature microphone as well, which I believe is the exact same mold and paint job as Big Cass's. Um, it would have been cool if they were, you know, uh, personalized to each other, but they are not. And then, of course, you have his three chains that he wears. You have the long, regular gold chain right here. Then you have this gold necklace chain right there and then this one is pretty cool it is a jesus uh gold necklace i believe which is really cool that they included that detail there is some cool sculpted face detail in that chain so that is really awesome as well very easy to take off his neck as well so you don't have to worry about that but now we can get into some comparisons with their first elites all right guys here we have the brand new elite 55 big cast up to his first elite and the first things that you will notice right off the bat is obviously the color change from red, um, from black to red. And then you have the logo on the front of the trunks, which is significantly smaller on the newer Elite there. And then it's sort of like they, uh, it's like a negative version. You see how it's black or red with black and then black with red there as you will see and then you have some different head scans I think this one captures his likeness more in my opinion um, I think the expression is really cool as well not a huge fan of the white eyes but I do think that it is big cast so there is that comparison now we will show Enzo and here we have Enzo's new Elite 55 up next to his first Elite and I think that both of these figures are so freaking awesome I think that both of them have an incredible amount of detail it's almost like this is the home version or this is the home version and then they're flip flop for a way version I think that's pretty cool but you have the black and blue here the white and blue here the shoes the socks everything about these figures the hair the teeth the uh the tattoos and everything are just so amazing. Very happy with both of these figures. If I had to pick one, I think I would go with the new Elite 55. You know, you get more change. You get his microphone. You get 
you know, you get a cool jersey and everything, but um, I don't know. I, which head scan do you guys like better? Honestly, it's pretty much a toss-up. I think both of them are very, very accurate to Enzo, and I think they both capture the likeness very well, but just both of these figures are definitely up for figure of the year. I can tell you right now, both of these are just so um, accurate and just so detailed, but now we will get into the end of the video. Man, guys, I swear, I wish these guys were still a tag team. It is so sad. We never got to see them be tag team champions, and it is just unfortunate that they had to break up. But, you know, maybe when Big Cass gets back, maybe they'll reform since they know that it's probably not going the way they want it to. Um, I do not like Enzo as Cruiserweight champion, but, you know, it is what it is. What can you do? But that is going to do it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed um, I would recommend both of these figures if you want updated Big Cass and Enzo Elites. I think the Enzo figure is absolutely incredible down to the last detail, just like his first one. Especially if you missed out on the first Elites, definitely go to walkoutwear.com and pick these up. Promo code MDT again. Save some money. Get some free shipping under your belt there. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.